What's up, guys? It's Mandalore from Mighty Wallets here with my better half. Yep, she's really supportive. Uh, with all the new stuff coming out, I'm actually kind of excited about the game going forward. Uh, so I am going to speculate as to a few other tunes that we might hopefully, fingers crossed, see in the coming weeks and months with the reboot of the Clone Wars cartoon. The first tune from the Clone Wars series that I would really, really like to see added to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes would be Pong Krell. Pong Krell is a Galactic Republic Jedi Master General. Uh, he is famous and renowned in the Grand Army of the Republic. Uh, and if you watch the Clone Wars series, you'll know that he actually ends up falling to the dark side. Uh, he invokes as a reason for falling to the dark side that he foresees that ultimately the bad guys will win and he wants to be on the winning side. So he's not totally wrong. Uh, he does have some really badass moves. You see that AOE force push and he has four arms so he can wield two double bladed lightsabers. Uh, if you have watched the Clone Wars series, like I said, you can watch this episode where he just slices and dices a whole bunch of clones up. Really, really cool character, especially with the potential clone rework coming. I would love to see Pong Krell added to the game as an anti-clone tune. The next tune that I would like to see would be Admiral Trench. Again, if you've seen the Clone War series, you might remember who Trench is. He's basically a humanoid tarantula, which is not very inventive, but whatever. And he is a brilliant naval tactician. Uh, he is renowned for having defeated a number of galactic fleets and cruisers. Um, less compelling of a tune to be added to the game seeing as many people are anxiously awaiting the general grievous capital ship uh, introduction so we probably won't see admiral trench uh, or at least not anytime soon but all the same i'd very much like to see him in the game at some point to go along with the clone potential rework uh, i would like to see clone commander captain gregor added to galaxy of heroes Gregor is a clone that has amnesia of sorts after a battle, and he's re-encountered by members of the Galactic Republic on a uh, black ops uh, clandestine mission, which involves a platoon of droids. Uh, he ultimately remembers who he is, and he's a, he's a pretty bit badass dude. Uh, he takes out almost an entire army of droids, or separatist droids, in order for his Galactic Republic allies to escape. Uh, we don't see him in the rest of the Clone Wars cartoon. He does, however, pop back up in the Star Wars Rebel cartoon. Uh, he's a little bit more of an eccentric, somewhat PTSD clone, but uh, I think that'd be a really cool, badass character to add to the game. All right, this is where my biases come out. Pre Vizsla. How Pre Vizsla is not in the game yet, I will never understand. He is such a baller. I mean, he is, he embodies the Mandalorian spirit through and through. He is bloodthirsty, he is savage, and he wields a pretty badass lightsaber that Sabine Wren inherits later on. Um, yeah, I'd really like to see Pre Vizsla in this game. Obviously, I'm somewhat partial to Mandalorians. Uh, and with the show coming out, I would very much like to see a Mandalorian faction, uh, hopefully led by Pre Vizsla. If you're a fan of the cartoon, you know that uh, he's pretty popular. And I mean, just look, he's such a badass. He can, he's going head to head with Kenobi, which not many people can do. Uh, ultimately in the cartoon, he does get killed by Darth Maul, but still really badass character. I'd love to see the Rockets incorporated a little bit better than the have been thus far with Boba Fett and Jango Fett. Uh, yeah, I would really like to see someone else wielding that dark saber. And lastly, of course, how can you have Pre Vizsla and not have Bo Katan Kryze? Uh, Bo Katan, likewise, is a prominent Mandalorian during the Clone Wars. She is the sister of the Duchess Satine Kryze of Mandalore, and she is the partner 
of Pre Vizsla. Uh, she's kind of a gray character. She's kind of bad. Later on is good. She starts out being with the Death Watch Mandalorian faction, uh, wreaking a lot of havoc on Mandalore with Pre Vizsla. And then down the road after Pre Vizsla is killed by Darth Maul, she becomes good. Um, you'll see here she ends up rescuing Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then later on in the Star Wars Rebels franchise, she ends up becoming the Mandalore of the Mandalorian people after she meets the Rebels crew and Sabine. Uh, she's a pretty badass character. She's a gunslinger. We love our badass women. She'll choke you out. She'll hit you with the harpoon. Uh, she's a pretty cool tune. Uh, of course, my biases again coming into play, her being Mandalorian and with the Mandalorian TV show coming out very soon. I'd like to see her added to the game as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe and share, and don't forget to wail harder.